Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Today I'm trying out the Zinstax back for the Mamiya RZ67. This is essentially a Fuji Instax camera that's been converted to work on the RZ67. Um, these are handmade by my buddy Han in Germany. And what this means is you can essentially shoot Fuji Instax square film on the RZ, which gives you really nice flexibility with lenses. You can use whatever kind of flashes you want on here. And overall, it just gives you a lot more creative control than a typical Polaroid camera does. Today we're gonna walk around LA, try to shoot a lot of photos with this thing and show you what it can do. Also, if this video looks 10 times better than any of my past iPhone vlogs, it's because Marty's behind the camera. Here's the actual film back. I'll show you how this thing works really quick. It comes right off the camera. It works just like a 120 film back. Uh, you have a dark slide. It attaches with this ring like any other back and then a hand crank to actually process the Polaroids once you've shot a photo. So that's kind of a fun physical aspect to it. I like that it's not motorized, you just crank it by hand. Um, yeah, it works just like an Instax camera. You load the film in the back, we'll show you that in a minute. Um, and that's about it, super simple. Let's go shoot some photos. First shot. So I'll show you how this works right now. Uh, you have a hand crank and it has this little arrow on it. And you literally just twist this. Sweet, we got a nice little branch poking out. I know these are like all around LA, but I just get so excited when I see these. Five hundred at twenty-two. Look at that. It's a beautiful tree here and the skyline in the back is super nice, but I feel like one of the shortcomings of Instax Square itself is that there's not a ton of detail. So usually I try to refrain from shooting stuff like this with too much texture and too much detail on Instax, but we'll give it a shot anyway, because it looks so good. Wow, that's my last frame on this pack of film. This is literally as easy as reloading any Instax camera. You open the back, take out the old cart, grab a new one, pops in like that, and you're ready to shoot some more. This is also one of the downfalls of Instax Square is that the dynamic range really isn't there. So the skyline, which was right here, is just totally blown out, but it's funny to see. I love details like this. Wow. I think what could be really interesting is if we did a little bit of an exposure comparison test. So I'll take three different Polaroids, one that I think, three different Instax shots, one that I think is the right exposure, one over and one under, and then we'll see what looks best. So I think the correct exposure would be 500th of a second at F16. This stuff is pretty sensitive though, so it is really crucial that you meter correctly. I'll never get it right. 500 at 22.
No. Oh, I still got him. So I think what's great about this back is that it gives you a really nice alternative to Fuji FP100C. That was kind of the go-to Polaroid film before to shoot on the RZ. And unfortunately that stuff was discontinued. It's really expensive now. And until this came out, there really wasn't a good alternative. It was either you pay like $70, $80 a pack for Fuji FP100C, or you can buy one of these now. The initial investment's a little bit more expensive, but you get 10 shots for 15 bucks as opposed to 80 bucks. So I think it's pretty good value in the end. And it's just cool that we have an alternative There were some really nice old cars around the corner, so we're gonna go check it out. All right, this is my last pack of film for the day. No. This is so nice. Reflection's so strong. If you do want one of these film backs, they are made to order and they're pretty back ordered right now, but I'll leave Han, the guy who makes these, in the description as well, just to drop him a DM to order. Make sure you go check out Marty's Instagram as well. It'll be in the description. Thank you so much to watching and finally thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Squarespace is an incredible all-in-one website building platform that you can use to build your photography portfolio online. I've been using Squarespace for over three years at this point and they made it so incredibly easy to get a website with my photography up and running. If that sounds like something you're interested in, you can hit the link in my description for a 14-day free trial of Squarespace. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Willem for 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be back next week with another video. That's it for now. Peace.